Valley News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. So now we know. Yeah. Now yeah. We know. That was pretty good. Kind of like the last couple of days, my the weather was kind of like Mike Morgan's hair, a little bit gray out there. Ooh, but back yeah, kind of like mine too. Back First from vacation, back. and welcome he's back. low. We welcome you back with some sunshine late today. That We're going to see welcome. lots of sunshine tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> a live look outside of the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam, part of the Storm Team Skycam Network. Hardly a cloud in the sky now after seeing a lot of cloudiness over the last couple of days. The current temperature with clearing skies, 61 degrees. I know the cool night out there, and good night to open those windows once again and give the AC a break. We're going to need those ACs over the next few days. Calm winds and those winds are going to remain calm tonight. Could see some fog develop as we head through the overnight hours. Earlier this evening, it's about the 6 o'clock hour, still had a lot of clouds out there. We put this into motion and the clouds, they rapidly diminish, leaving us with a pretty nice sunset out there and clear skies as we head through the overnight hours. Temperatures elsewhere across the region a mix of some 50s and some 60s, 57 in Gwinter, 59 in Jamestown, 63 in a Devil's Lake, 60 in Grand Forks, also 60 in the Thief River Falls area. As mentioned, the winds are very light out there, and they're going to be calm to very light as we head through the overnight hours. And with clearing skies, calm winds, and some cool temperatures, in addition to some moisture laying around, could see some fog develop during the overnight hours. We'll show you that in the hour-by-hour -hour forecast here in just a few minutes. Most of the cloudiness that's left in the far southern portion of the valley, that will be going away over the next couple of hours. With hardly a cloud in the sky, well, no precipitation to worry about. It looks like we'll be dry tonight through much of the day tomorrow, but late tomorrow could see a few showers and storms. Northern Plains, quiet. Most of the country quiet until you get down into the Southern Plains. Some showers and some thunderstorms, some severe storms in Southern Arizona drifting off towards the south, and that rain in the Southern Plains stretches all the way up into parts of the Ohio Valley. For us, as we head through the overnight hours, we'll see Mostly clear skies, but here comes the fog. That'll begin to develop as we head through the overnight hours. Overnight lows, mainly in the 50s across the region, and that fog really starts to develop. Some of that could be locally dense as we head through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. So if you've got travel plans late tonight, early tomorrow morning, keep in mind you could encounter some of that fog. Slow down, take it easy, give yourself a few extra minutes to reach your destination, and make sure you're using those low beam headlights. Now, as we head through the rest of the day, we'll see some Mostly sunny skies burn that fog off very quickly and a quick warm up into the 70s and 80s. And we're going to top out in the upper 70s across the east to the low 90s across the west, even 100 out towards the Bismarck area. Later on in the day, cool front starts to approach. And along with that, a very small chance for some showers and storms. But any storms that do develop could be on the strong and maybe severe side. And because of that, Storm Prediction Center has put much of the region, the northern two thirds of the area, in a marginal risk for severe storms. Here in Fargo, we'll start off the day with maybe a touch of fog, but quickly turning sunny. Temperatures in the upper 50s, rapidly warming up into the mid 70s by your lunch hour. We're going to top it on out into the upper 80s. That chance for storms shows up later on in the evening. Speaking of storms, picture of the day, Mamatis clouds for those storms on a Tuesday. Thanks to Julie for sending this in. This near the uh, Shell Lake near the Osage, Minnesota area. Going to use that as the background to our seven day forecast. A chance for some late day storms tomorrow. Clearing on out just in time for the weekend. Mid 80s Saturday, 90 on Sunday, mid 90s on Monday. A touch cooler as we head through Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with several more storm chances. So check out the misting tent if you're downtown Fargo for this. Yeah, weekend, you're going right? to need I mean, it as we head through the next the, couple of days. Bring the water. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. You got it.